Everyone, welcome back. Whether you're a returning student or faculty member, or if this is your first semester with us, it's always a good idea to start your semester by checking your notification settings in Brightspace. To do this, log into Brightspace. You should see our SUNY Potsdam homepage. And then at the top right corner of the screen, click on your name and then choose notifications. As you scroll down, you can customize what you receive notifications for. For all of our users, whether they're instructors or students, the only notification on by default is for announcements. So from our campus landing page and from the individual courses that you're a member of, whether an instructor or student, you would receive an email when a new announcement is posted. However, especially for students, you'll likely want to turn on more notifications than that. You are okay with turning on pretty much any notification, but we really recommend you turn on any that are related to receiving feedback and turn on the ones related to discussion. So if you choose to subscribe to a discussion or if someone mentions you in a discussion by using the at sign to tag you, you will receive a notification for that. There are three notifications we really do not recommend that you turn on. And those are the content ones. This will send you an email every time content like a course web page or a syllabus is updated in your courses. This sometimes will spam people with emails, especially at the beginning of a semester when a whole course might be imported at once, you'll get like 20 emails. So we really recommend you do not turn on these three, but all of the rest you are all set for. If there are certain courses that maybe you're a tutor for and you don't need to get their notification emails, you can exclude specific courses so they won't send you notifications. Once you return to your courses, now that you have your notifications set up, let's assume I just turned on all the ones that I had for discussions. If I want to be notified every time someone asks or answers a question in the general course questions and feedback discussion, I can go into each of my courses, go to discussions, and go to the general questions and feedback forum, and then subscribe to it. If you find you're getting too many emails, you can always go back and adjust those notification settings again. 